What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, Cobra G here. So today we're going to be resoling a nice Lok number. They're pretty heavily trashed, heel top lift's already come off, we're going to need some major re and work, but let's get to it. Welcome back guys, now we're going to break down the shoe, remove the old uh, heel block and the old sole here. A lot of it's coming away already so it should be pretty easy just to come off. Yeah. yeah, well it's already starting to split, pretty trashed so we'll be replacing that at some point. Little piece of leather in here. It's just been used as a filler. block I'm not going to be reusing that because when the top lift came off the guy still continued to walk so he's really uh, ground it down at this side Gonna break the stitches on the welt here. Allow us to remove the sole a little bit easier. Now I've just quickly sanded this on the machine, just sand the top of the nails there, it makes it easier to remove the sole. to remove them from the inside as well. Gonna pop in some fresh cork in yet again, and a new heel round for this one because this one is wrecked. So you see this little film here. This is what's put on the shoe at the factory. So basically, once they've made all the uppers together, they wrap the shoe in this plastic to protect it for the next stage as they put the soles on. So yeah, once you take all these off, you'll probably find it'll be all underneath the welt as well. So 
let's have a look at this shank. Shank's got a little piece of leather over the top of it to protect it. But it's not done too well because the whole thing's snapped, so we're going to be popping a new shank in as well. This is where all the old welt stitches are. So just pop in a wee punch pin underneath and just pull out all the old threads that we've got. Okay guys, now the shoe is all broken down, gives me a good chance to give it a good deep condition and clean. We'll be able to attack all the areas where the welt covered up before, it's very cracked and dry, so we'll put, be putting in some good conditioner just to make it nice and supple. First up, I'm going to use some saddle soap, just to add any lost oils and nutrients back into the shoe. Nice thick coat all over this. And then just using a cloth, we're just going to buff it right into the leather and we're going to leave it to sit for about 5-10 minutes as it dries up and then we'll buff that back off. I'm going to attack the lining as well that I can get to. So I'm just going to add some extra black dye, just to recondition the uppers, give them a new lease of life. Now I'm going to put one coat on, leave it to dry, and then come back and pop a second coat on. Once all that's done, I'll be adding some black polish, just to finish off the uppers and give it a nice shine. And then some cobbler's cream. Just gonna pop this on as well. So just work this into the leather. It'll nourish it quite nicely. Don't forget all the sides where the welt was. And especially the tongue area as well. Got our new welt already, so we're just going to pop it in some water, let it soak for a good 10 minutes, and then it'll be nice and soft for us to pop onto the shoe. New rand is in, nailed down, new shank is in, glued down. So next step we've got is popping in the fresh cork. So we'll just do a nice even coat all the way in where the void is here in the shoe. Okay guys, so while the cork's drying, I'm going to nip outside, grab some lunch, and I'll show you the area that we're in. Alright?
Okay guys, so that's the cork all nice and dry. So we're just going to be sanding that flat on the machine. We're also going to be roughing up the soles to allow the glue to adhere to it better. Some of you guys have been asking what kind of glue it is that we use. We use a Bostic cemented glue. It's fantastic for all of our shoe repair needs. Two coats of glue around the welt and one coat of glue where the cork is. What we do with this glue is we allow it to dry, it takes about 7 minutes. Once it's dry, what we'll do is we'll reheat it under the UV, uh, hint, sorry, the infrared heat lamp. That reactivates the glue and allows you to get a solid bond. I'm also going to double up the glue on the rand area here. Because it's a piece of leather, again, it just soaks up the first coat, so we'll just come back in 5-10 minutes and pop our second coat on. Just going to pop the new sole on now. I'm going to do a double leather sole on this one. Just get the new one attached on top of this. Double sole is on, now we're going to groove a channel around it using the groover tool here.
going to use the outsole stitcher and just stitch this sole on now. Okay, so we've got the Triumph toe plate in the position that we want it, and I've already gone ahead and scored some marks with my knife. Just wet it a little bit, and I'm going to start to carve out where we need the toe plate to sit. So in the picture of the shoe again, so we're just going to cut this at an angle and then the shoe will sit on perfectly fine. Fuel blocks in the flash heater, reactivating the glue, and then we'll pop it on here.
Just be securing the heel block even more with some threaded nails again. In order for me to get a nice shine, what I like to do is just wet a cloth, run it around the edges of the sole, and then using a sanding pad, just wet sand it. This leaves it really super smooth and allows you to get a really nice shine once you've added some polish. So I'm just going to make my way around the whole shoe and the heel block as well, getting it all nice and sanded smooth, ready for the next step. Edges are nice and smooth now, so we're just going to be using the polishing brushes here and add a nice shine finish to the all around the sides. So you can see there's the before and there's the start of the after. See the difference? Popping in some brass nails again, nice decoration on the heel. Already gone ahead and punched some holes, makes them easier to go in. Okay guys, that's us done with another project. Thank you so much for watching yet again. Here's the end result. So we've done the double leather Triumph toe plate. Sides are nice and shiny, uppers are all conditioned. Okay, so if you like what you see here, drop a little comment below, drop a little subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace!